The name is I Love You, Colonel Sanders. I think... They didn't make Colonel Sanders, like, look like Colonel Sanders. Prioritize quality, prioritize speed. Yeah, I want performance on the Colonel Sanders love simulator. The fuck is this? Brody for the five. Your W guy thinks we're making my day better. No problem, bro. It's so loud. Yeah, I know. Switch games. Dude, Switch games, y'all voted for this. Hold up, I gotta turn my game capture on. Yep, there we go. All right. Uh, are we doing the voices for this, chat? Are we doing voices for this? Am I going to be getting into my persona where I have to give a character a voice? Yes? Okay. What are we making our name? Should it just be Joe Bart? Crispy for the sub. I feel like it should just be my name. Joe Bart. Bop for the sub. Oh, God. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window on your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack the clock and up at him. Up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time, to get, time begins to fly by, and you feel like your imagination is getting away from you. I'm going to take things seriously. Okay, this is just my voice. I'd better make sure... I'm not going to give myself a different voice. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Teeth equals brushed. Hair combed. Pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. <laughs> Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. A nice old Kentucky Fried Chicken Biscuit. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent, uni <laughs> magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorable, adorably awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Joe Bart. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm, because I sure am, excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot of nervous. What's the, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. This is a hard watch. Bro, motherfuckers that are going to say L game. Yo, I gotta mute this shit. Motherfuckers that are gonna say L game, you literally all voted for this. You literally all voted for this. You might as well fucking stick through it now. Thanks for the vote. Hour and a half. Yep, here you go. Y'all got y'all knew what you were voting for. All right. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with the University of Cooking School Academy of Learning famous three-day only semester, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she clipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Pep talk your best friend. Change the, sub the subject to school gossip. I'm going to pep talk her. Remember the last month when we saw the fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. 
Remember that Why? Yeah, why is she sitting like that? Remember that card with a fancy looking tower and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow. I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating. If she tries to steal Colonel Sanders from me, I'm going to be fucking pissed. You'll be delighting. Oh, you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you and Miriam talk it up, you could feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? No, they look like shit. You could definitely believe it. Yeah, they look fucking awful. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when somebody smacks your books and, uh, and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Hey! How the fuck do you say that name? Ashley? It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Joe Bart's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Okay, now they're making fun of my fucking calves, and that's fucked up. Yo, my cat's saying yacht. Relax. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually... Bro, I'm not even... I didn't even have the fucking audio playing. It's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than anybody. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you get... We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can casually see him working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van Van. You rang, rang. You've never been sure what the arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy of Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they'd let us just, they, they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as professors. Your amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's no time. There's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you just resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly into it. <laughs> Un. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Yeah, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one a heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he just read it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Joe Bart. So you're going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? Dude, he looks 10. I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of class. Adorable. Sprinkles. What fucking voice do I give to a dog? It's a corgi? Yeah, what do I... Just woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, and woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. What a cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to see now the game's grown on y'all, I bet, right? See, a lot of people are saying L game, now the game's grown on y'all. See, you like the game now, watch. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as you swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside of the classroom. <laughs> I'm chilly, someone close the window. Shut the fuck up, Pop. And then, He walks in. 
You're immediately swept up in the aura of the new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone he could be so handsome? Time stands still. Oh my god, he's a student? I thought he was the teacher. <gasps> it's him. It's... Woof, 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 woof. Colonel Sanders interrupts wrinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he could finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the class and as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks, suddenly the room is sweltering. Swap begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everything is looking at you and you're not even entirely wrong. <sighs> Ugh, this bitch. And this over here must be sweaty sweat a lot. Uh -huh. Maybe we should open up that window back up before faucet pits meld into a puddle and evaporates immediately. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what's with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Joe Bart sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at, look at that shimmer. Thank you, Miriam. It's a good thing you don't forget about the class, uh, about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Dot, dot, dot. Professor Dog ste steps in to settle the class down and set up some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy. Oh, I'm not supposed to read this. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. And then just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. This man has school shooter vibes. Holy shit. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everybody had a good summer. I really miss... Woof! Woof, 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 woof. Do you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... Woof, 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 woof. Let that be a lesson. Fuck. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. But this is where... The class bursts into laughter. Woof, woof. Sprinkles walks into class as everybody stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I've been... Oh, I'm not supposed to read this. I want to read it, though. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a uh, you've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation of being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. What kind? I'm gonna go chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide and, he, and as he locks onto it, his favorite. Oh my God, what a good choice! Well, well, well. I think there might be somebody uh, some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating, warm, uh, coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing on you jealously, jealous, jealous, jealously, but pay no mind to it. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog tree flavors on them at all times. Exactly. Woof, 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 woof. Everybody rushes to claim their favorite seats. You're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh my God, please give me Colonel Sanders seat. Oh my god. Please give me Colonel Sanders' seat. Hey, Joe Bart. There's still a seat here. Seems that nobody has claimed the seat next to me if you're interested. Oh, fuck. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, no pens, no pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it as best as you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Woof woof, pop quiz. Not a quiz about me? Bro, I'm about to curb stop pop into the fucking ground, dude. Shut up. Woof woof woof. Woof 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 woof. Yo, no way my mods put change games as a poll. Get the fuck out of here. 
extremely looking at you, Pop. My chat's voting to change games. I hate you guys. I want to play. I want to play this. Forest is to tree as chicken is to night vision goggles. That's wrong. Fuck. A spork. That's right. Yes. What food is best for a broken heart? A pancake that looks like a smiley face. Fuck. That's right. Total score, two out of five. Shit. Oh, people are voting Switch games. Chat, please. Please don't vote Switch games. Time for lunch. I haven't even started flirting with Colonel Sanders yet, chat. Oh my god, I need to see him. I need to see Colonel Sanders. Hold up. Oh my god, there he is. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everybody cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Jo uh, she said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everybody for lunch. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it's going to be his Colonel Sanders signature chicken. Oh my god. That must be the smell. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. Oh, it's the gravy. You hold your breath, waiting to see what the food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but what were the rumors true? Is this. Oh my god. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around you and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. That's all I'll say about that. What do you think? What? I, I'm not even reading that motherfucker's lines. What is that thing that they'll, they'll go like this? All right, where's Colonel Sanders? Where, when can I flirt with Colonel Sanders? Please, please, when can I flirt with Colonel Sanders? Swim towards the light. I don't even give a fuck what this is. I want to talk to Colonel Sanders. I know, I know people voted to switch chat. Game over? What? Uh -huh. She wants him all to herself? I will fucking fist fight Ashley's dumbass. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any. Transports you to another dimension. Savor the moment. All right, I'm back. You approach Colonel Sanders. Oh my God, here it is. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time. As I open a chain of highly su successful chicken restaurants, no big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We got two more whole days. He's clearly not going to give it up easy, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Oh, shit. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't be learning fun? Aw. You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, then he, he leans in. You can feel his warmth breath as he whispers, Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great-grandmother ta taught me. Blank? Wow, you've never you've never guessed it. In fact, you're not even sure where you get some of it if you searched. 
Well, we've lost a thousand viewers. I don't give a shit. I'm finishing this. I'm only going to flirt with Colonel. I don't give a shit about the other shit. He's had big plans. Blah, blah, blah. Be modest but thoughtful. Yeah, modest but thoughtful. Yeah, now I've got his attention. Flavors were complex. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of just fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, complimenting him. Yeah, let's spam through this. We're going to go pop. Uh, I'm going to spam through this. Don't really care. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Yo, this bitch really trying to slide in on my mans, though. Get the fuck out of here, Ashley. Colonel Sanders, save me. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. Yes! How long is this game? Bro, this would take like 10 hours to get through. Oh my god, I was about to kiss him and Van Van walked in. The Spork Monster. Am I... What is this, Pokemon? What is happening? Oh my god, is he in my bedroom? Sprinkles is also there. Instructing your love dreams are weird. Zzz. I just want to see Ashley. Yeah, relax, man. Yo, what is the ending of this fucking game? For the love of God, just show me the ending. Do I get with Colonel Sanders? I got with Joe Biden in the Love Love Joe Biden simulator. Oh my God, he's on a horse. So majestic. All right, I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore, chat. All right, what do we play? I'm going to look up the ending. Colonel... Colonel Sanders Love Simulator. Bro, KFC fucking made the game. The KFC channel posted it. That was made by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh my! Right? I have to see where our relationship I'm goes. I'm really Will curious. Bro, they played that bitch for an hour and didn't get into it. Where's the ending? Jack Septicai played it. <laughs> ending. True ending. <laughs> I couldn't help but wonder, was our final exam team up purely in act or blah, blah, blah. Maybe playing Val isn't the best idea. What do you mean? Why would I not? Oh, what, what's wrong with Val? Yo, what do y'all want to play? Yo, Mr. Underscore do be dying for the $50 dono. Holy fucking shit. I've been thinking of buying a Jeep Wrangler thoughts. What do you uh, like about yours? Uh, there's a lot of space. Uh, it depends if you're going to get a two-door or a four-door. Uh, thank you for the 50, by the way, dude. Play Val? Oh, my God. Okay, we'll play a game of fucking Toxic Val, chat. Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll do Viewfinder another day, because we'll probably play Viewfinder for, like, an hour. We'll just play, like, one game of Val. Um, what do I like about my Jeep? Uh, it has shitty gas mileage. Uh, it could bring a lot. It could kind of ride anywhere. It has a lot of room. It could get dirty and cleaned pretty quick. Uh, the technology is pretty nice. They're reliable. Uh, I don't really know outside of that. Rusty for the three. It's a car. 
Most of these summer uh, chatters are unfunny TikTok audiences with a comical sense of a second grader. I would disagree. I would say that's once in a while there's people that are like TikTok chatters, but most of the time they're pretty chill. Tidy for the five. I don't know if you said this. Yeah, but I do get an influx of new viewers in the summer, and then a lot of them leave in the in the school year. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you said this, but if you want to not read this out loud. Oh, no, I'm not getting a cut. Four honors for sale for three dollars. Yeah, that's that. That's why I'm doing. That's why four honors sponsoring me tomorrow, because uh, the game's going to be um, cheap as shit. Like normally four honors like 60 bucks or some shit. It's like fucking what? three dollars for like two weeks or something like that play the kindergarten game i'm not playing the kindergarten game all right mods change game title please thank you uh and the title of the stream uh y'all know the y'all know the drill we don't warm up we just get in gonna be an absolute dick do i be toxic off ripper no not minty for the 20 uh not game topic but i got a lizard i ended up naming him ziggy that's cool and thank you for the fucking 20 not minty pleasantly for the sub official for the four uh, and for the 324, what's your favorite funk, uh, Joe? That's my favorite one. I can't click on that link. Official for the sub, for the five, do you prefer to take a shower or a bath? If it's for relaxing a bath, if it's for washing myself, a shower. What's your favorite funk? I don't have one. Thank you for the 11, though. Uh, Bob and Crispy for the sub, Brody for the five. Uh, thanks for making my day better. Blank, Joseph, Huntstree. Huntstra, Hunt, Huntress Ivy for the five gifted. Snake for the sub, Exploit for the sub, Zoo for the four. Uh, decide to join the live today. That human verified for the subtitle for the three. All right, I already read those. Uh, 101 for the three. What? When are mod applications coming out? Never. All right. What's going on, team? You're muted, bro. Uh, well, you